So if you're a doctor planning to visit the US for an observership program, then this video is all about how you can clear visa interview. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. There is an entire playlist for the B1 visa categories, so make sure that you check out these videos. So observership programs are a great way to get clinical experience in the US, which in turn can help you getting those community recommendation letters and further help your medical career in the US. Also, having a B1 visa on your passport gives you a lot of flexibility for future travel. You could even travel to the US post your observership to write exams like USMLE and a lot more. But when it comes to the visa interview, it's a slightly different game. You need to be really careful as to how you project your profile and more importantly, your reasons for doing the observership program. So using words like work experience, recommendation letter, training, treating, are the exact things that you need to avoid and these are potential rejection reasons. So in this video, I'm going to be covering a lot more useful information like this. In particular, I'm going to be talking about three different points, which are the main preparation points for your visa interview. So grab a pen and a paper and let's get started. Also make sure to watch this video till the end because I'll be sharing exclusive access to an interview experience of a student who cleared his observership visa interview after having a rejection. So in this interview experience, he shares all about what went wrong in his first attempt, how he fixed it and how he prepared for the second attempt. And this is really going to help you in your preparation. So I'll be sharing the access to this interview experience towards the end of the video. So make sure that you keep watching. Now, with all of this done, let's jump right into the main part of the video and start with the three important points that you need to keep in mind while appearing for your visa interview. So the visa interview can start with a visa officer asking you the purpose of your visit. And explaining this clearly is very important. So you can start by telling the visa officer that you have been accepted for an observership program at so-and-so hospital or clinic, mention the duration of the program, and also mention the area or the department within the observership program. For example, you could say that you have been accepted into an observership program at La Santa Clinic in New York under the pediatrics department. A really important point to note here and to pay special attention to is the department or the area within your observership program. And it's really important to have this clearly demarcated and clearly defined. And also make sure that the area or the department that you choose within your observership program is a part where you have some background, right? Either you have some work experience or it, you have done your internship in it, or you have done some rotations in that area. So for example, let's say that you are doing your observership in a pediatrics ward or in a pediatrics department. Make sure that in your career and your background, you have done something related to pediatrics. This is a really important point which is overlooked by a lot of students who apply for observership programs and I couldn't stress enough how important it is. Doing this will not only help you in clearly defining your purpose of visit, but it will also help you to explain to the VO how this observership will help your career back in your home country. So I'll be talking about the ties to home country part in a bit. So for now, just keep in mind that you need to be really clear about all the aspects of the program, where, which hospital, right, the duration, and also which department or which area of the observation. The second point that you need to be prepared when it comes to your visa interview is your funding. Now your observership could either be paid or it could be fully funded or it could be a free observership. Nevertheless, you will still have to incur living expenses for the duration of your stay. So the first step to plan your funding is to make an estimate of the total expenses that you are expecting to incur. So this includes the fee for the program plus your living expenses. So make a rough estimate of it. Keep a buffer about 10 to 15% and then have a total amount or rather have a figure for the total expense that you're going to incur during your stay in the US. And from this, work backwards and plan your funding. So most of you would have a sponsor, right? For most of you, it would be a parent or an uncle or a close relative who would be sponsoring your program in the US. So in that case, the financials of the sponsor become extremely important. So have very clear figures and of course, have the document proof for the annual income of your sponsor, for the savings, other investments and also the long-term assets or the immobile properties that your sponsor might have. So if you're still watching up to this point, I hope that you found this video useful so far. Let me know by commenting in the comment section below. So just type US visa and let me know that you're still here.
So the third point that I want to focus on is your future plan and this again is a very important aspect of the interview. So though an observership program is a great way to get clinical experience for your career in US, but for the visa interview, you need to be able to clearly show how it will help your career back home in your country. So you need to have the path once you're back clearly defined. And this is the exact reason why I told you right in the beginning of the video to have an area within your observership which you can link to your background. So when asked how will this observership help your career here in your home country or what do you plan to do once you finish the observership, you should be able to clearly tell the VO that I am, if you're working, you could say that I'm working in so-and-so, uh, you know, hospital and this experience will add to my job profile and help me implement these things. If you're studying and planning to do your post-graduation, you could say that the observership will really help you decide the area or the future focus area of your post-graduation. Nevertheless, the way you plan it, it has to be really clear that the path, once you finish the observership, is something which is going to add value to your career in your home country. So these were all the things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to visa interviews for observership programs. I really hope that this video helps you out. Do check the link in the description box below because like I mentioned earlier, there is an exclusive access to a real visa interview experience and there is so much to learn from that. The thing, next thing was uh, about uh, who is the sponsor of my trip and also uh, what does he do and what are the financial things. He also asked me clearly if I was working. That was his main concern. So the link is below. Click there and you can watch the exclusive video. If you want my help in preparing for your US visa interview, do get in touch. I can help you in filling your DS-160 form, getting your documents ready, and of course, preparing you for all the visa questions. So you can book a one-to-one -one consultation session with me for this. The link for that is also in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You could also reach out to me on Instagram. Just send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. And if you found the useful, don't forget to like. That really helps. And subscribe and press the bell icon because I have a couple of more videos coming up for observership programs in US. So I think that's going to help you. All right. Take care. Signing off for now. See you in the next one. Bye.